So it's back to a flown for the Rosslyn COFL Men's Premier Division final. It's the side who've won it four times in the last six years. UCD up against IT Sligo. And we saw IT Sligo last week in the CFEI Cup final. They led for a while. In the end, it didn't go well. And there is only pretty much a back two at the moment for IT Sligo. It's a lovely one over the top. And here goes Lee Kavanagh to wrap it up. And they will do. It's four. And it's Dean Kelly who wraps it up. And there's another red card for Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly has been sent off. It's two years since UCD lifted the league title last. A dramatic victory over UCC at home farm. Here's McClellan taking on O'Connor and McClellan is still going and he's hit it into the net. Lovely goal, Jason McClellan. 1-0 UCD and that was a peach and all his own work. UCD have done the double, adding the CUFL Premier Division title to the Collingwood Cup. And Johnny McDonnell is with us again. And I'll tell you what, Johnny, if we have a quarter of the dramas we had in last week's CFAI Cup final, we'll be doing well today. Two teams out that will get it down and play. It should be a really good game. Uh, well, we watched uh, Sligo IT last week. IT Sligo, you know, they just lost their discipline in the game last week. And I think they have a full complement again here today. But again, they're going to have to be really 100% up to it, mentally, physically against this top UCD team. Yeah, it was four red cards for... IT Sligo in last week's CFAI Cup final. They've all been cleared to play. Uh, there was an appeal 24 hours before this decider. But they're up against UCD, who are just giants at this level. Well, you know, I've watched both teams and I've played against both teams this season. And on the day, IT Sligo can be well, well matched up to UCD. We've played both of them this year. We've beaten UCD, we beat them on penalties. Sligo beat us early on in the season in the league. They beat us convincingly. And uh, on the day, these can put up, put up to anyone. We're going to hear now from both bosses. Yeah, well, um, that's the good thing about football. If, uh, you can bounce back quickly. And lucky enough this year, we've done well and got to these two finals. So against UCD now, we can show hopefully what we're about with keeping all the players on the pitch this time around. Fingers. Last week went well for a while, until? Yeah, until uh, a few moments of madness from the players. And we spoke about that. And there now before the team talk, we told them discipline is huge. and and respect is huge as well, first and foremost, so we need to make sure we keep 11 on the pitch today and uh, progress from there. Good news is everybody is still eligible from those red cards last week, so they will be playing today and you've got as strong a selection as you thought you would have in advance. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we only found out yesterday, so that was very good news. So we were planning without them, so now that we have them, it definitely makes uh, things a bit better for us. But we know you see what they're like. We're we're going to be we're going to be prepared, but we know they're their favourites. So, David, you've won this league title four times in the last six seasons, and trying to continue your domination today. That's correct. Will uh, we've had a great run in in recent years, but uh, the team that won the, those three or four titles that. They just came to an end last year, so we're kind of in the rebuilding phase. Um, very much a new, uh, young-looking team this year, so great opportunity for them to uh, get a CFL under their belt. I mean, it's a, a packed schedule as well. You've had the Harding Cup, obviously. A lot of the squad play in the League of Ireland, the rest play in the Leinster Senior League. Yeah, very busy time of year for us with the Electricity League just kicking off. A lot of these players would have played just last Friday up in Drada. We have Longford on Friday, we have a big Leinster Senior League game away to Lucan on Sunday. So, very busy schedule at uh, this time of the year. But great for the players, great, great experience to play in the different competitions. How do you manage to keep all the plates spinning? <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. We, we obviously have to manage the load, uh, training sessions. We, we have to do out all the, the, the fixtures. We take every competition seriously. CUFL is one of the big competitions for us uh, in the calendar year. It uh, means an awful lot to us, the players, and the college. Uh, so we certainly treat this with, uh, with very much importance. So coming into the final then, um, it's good for the final, I guess, that Sligo have a full panel to pick from again. Well, I think GC, the manager, will be delighted, you know, as I say, after last week. Uh, the players that they have, it gives them a better selection. It gives them, it, more importantly, it gives them a better bench, you know, to be able to match up against uh, UCD. And uh, as I said, this is going to be a really good game. I think there's going to be a few goals in this match. And I don't think UCD will run away with it as much as people think they will. I think IT Sligo is definitely going to put up to them today. Let's look forward to it. Here we go. UCD with a lot of League of Ireland and Leinster Senior League experience. Yo-Yo Mardi, 
who's formerly of Limerick FC. A great goal getter in the UCD first team at the moment and helped them to the first division title in 2018. Something that Paul Doyle enjoyed as well two seasons ago. Colin Whelan has a hiding cup to his name and Michael Gallagher helped UCD win the hiding cup a week ago. He's just signed from Finn Harps. Strong bench as well. Including the likes of Mark Dignam, who's also a regular first team, and Harvey O'Brien, who came from Clay Morris FC in Mayo. IT Sligo had four players sent off in last week's CFAI Cup final, but they've all been cleared in the past 24 hours to play today. Mark Burns, Scott Lynch, Ryan O'Reilly, and James McGrath. O'Reilly, one of two changes from the starting lineup in that decider last week, beaten 4 1 by IT Carlo. The other is Darren Collins, who's been cleared by Sligo Rovers to play in this game. A strong bench which involves Ronan Gallagher who started last week but on the bench today. The man from Donegal who was involved in Finn Harf's under-17 double winning side two seasons ago. They also claimed the Mark Farron Cup. And I see Collins coming into the team, Darren Collins coming back into the team. The likes of Brian Cavani who got injured last week. I see he start as well, Oshin O'Reilly pretty good at the back with trainer nice and solid at the back. The usual lineups ahead of the decider and I mean we just can't praise this venue enough very very durable at Tala Technical University Dublin Tala won uh, the Division 1 title against NUI Galway earlier today the UCD very much the side to beat in this competition and IT Sligo were quite impressive in part last week Johnny against IT Carlo before things got a little on the hinge I, I have to say they were well in the game but against IT Carlo and they uh, Idaho or Kavanagh, Idaho wide on the right, you know, great skill, the ability to get away from a player in a 1v1 situation. Kavanagh's deliveries from set players, from free kicks and corner kicks were very, very good. He got a goal from, from one of the set players. Oshino Royley and, and trainer at, at centre half are nice and solid. It definitely in the first half they were well in the game. But it's about how they keep their composure and their discipline against a top team of UCD. Who will have great, you know, movement around midfield? Jack Kearney, Ma Ma Maddie, the, the the pace, Paul Doyle. So they're going to have to be on the game today in relation to, more, you know, the physical side. Of team. Match referee for this decider is Ray Conlon. The assistants Des McInerney and Damien Jordan, and the fourth official is Paul Malone for this big league final. IT Carlo comes straight at them, so they need to learn from that and not let UCD get at them for in, in the first few minutes. They need to start on the front foot here today. In the last six seasons, there have been four titles for UCD and two for IT Carlo. A famous success in winning the league last season, but turned over by UCD. This time around 4-0 in the semi-final, but they are the CFAI Cup holders from last week. Things have looked very good for IT Sligo for a bit there. And they're hoping today the only red they see is their kit. And nothing else. But they made life very, very difficult early on last week against Carla. There's no doubt about that. Collins is definitely going to add to the strength in, in, in attack. There's a little bit more about him. He knows his way around the pitch. And definitely with Ryan O'Reilly playing at left full. To deal with Maddie on the on the left hand side here, using all his experience. That should be a good contest today. But here we go. He's born. Oh, it's oh. a tight angle effort. What a great try that was. And there was hardly an angle to help him at all, but he went for it and he came so close. And that's a real warning for UCD after barely 90 seconds of what Sligo can do through Mark Byrne. Great bit of skill in the 1v1. He's opened his body up brilliantly well, and he's just an inch or two off getting it into that far right, uh, top right hand corner. He's cut out easily by Dara Corcoran, and he has a little bit of support from Cullum Whelan here, the number nine, and Whelan's still going, and suddenly it opens up brilliantly. A couple of bites of the cherry for Michael Gallagher, the man who's just come from Finn House, the first save by Jason Quinn, the second. Callagher couldn't do enough with. This is what I'm talking about, Will, when they're all pulled inside. This is the full back, the UCD full back, Gallagher. Up inside, eight yards inside the box. And he gets two attempts on it. 
Manchester City losing 5-1 at Drogheda United at the weekend but still uh, lying in fourth spot after three games in the first division controlled by Ryan Norris the Sligo captain Good and play. that's a brilliant ball it's Darren Collins who's in here the angle was tight but he tested Lorcan Healy was almost in good play by Collins he, he, on the bounce he's got a cross Barbara Carr and could have done better with the shot Will and there we go with the counter attack again great ball by Kavanagh chance to get Idaho away Corcoran is with him Dara Corcoran and just managed to interrupt him for a few seconds at least but again Kavanagh you know as soon as he gets it out of his feet and a chance to get it wide the Idaho hard to get it out there and try and get him to 1v1 situations uh, good, he's good player, as I said, he's honest, he's a good trickery, he's that ability, just as you think you're going to win the ball, he can nick it away from you and ride a few tackles. It's beyond Idaho at that time, he was primed for a oh! flick on, but it turned out quite good for Sligo anyway. What a cracking effort from the edge of the area, and it wasn't too high over the bar in the end, a beautiful strike. It's the second ball from that long throw in, and I think it's Kavanagh that comes in on it. Airman, the set piece. Set piece expert. Good close control, Mark Byrne, low effort, just wide. IT Sligo are still creating the opportunities and testing UCD. In all the possession that UCD have, it's only the Gallagher chance that they've had. It's Mark Bone here coming in off the line. Decent force touch. Just needs to get on target, Will. He's, he had the opportunity and the time to get a better contact on the strike. He just needed to test the keeper, Healy. And it doesn't matter if they have to check backwards a little bit. Well, well, it does now. They've given it away, and it's Mark Byrne. It's Gary Higgins. Oh, that's off the ball. That's going to be a free kick. And maybe a bit more for Babicar. It's down to referee Ray Conlon here. It's Babicar who's pulled him back, definitely will. Was he last man? Was he clean through on goal? We'll get a look at it here. It's a yellow card. It was Babacar and Nishni who gave the ball away. Brian Cavan is over it. And he went for it. Oh, he oh. went for it all right. Didn't clear the crossbar by very much at all. He knew it was on. And he knows how close it was too. He spoke about his deliveries. Here he goes. Took his time. He's got really, really good portage on a good contact. Whoa, another inch wheel. He's hit the back of the net. And Just by Madi for Doyle. Now there's room down the left hand side. And the low strike, a real tester too. Kerrigan floating around there and a bit of a bouncer, which Jason Quinn did well to deny Liam Kerrigan. Good play by Kerrigan. He's, staying, he's been patient, he's dead wide. He's come inside, he's got a shot away on target. Just a little bit more on it. And Mark Bourne was able to get back. They could definitely use him a lot more down this right hand side and he's making the break now. Did well to keep it in as well. Yo Yo Madi. Chip forward by Doyle. Good ball. Whelan. Trying to keep it alive. Back for Doyle again. Into stoppage time. Michael Gallagher's cross. It's a good one. And the header just wide. What a chance for Liam Kerrigan. That's Airman Kerrigan, he's been involved in everything, he's come in off the line there, it's a great ball in by Gallagher, he's been really, really involved in the game, great delivery, Norris just missed it, oh he's just so unlucky, he's done everything right to get it away from the keeper. A goalless first half in the CUFL Men's Premier Division final, but glorious chances for both Higgins through in the half hour for IT Sligo the low shot saved by Lorcan Healy half time UCD nil IT Sligo nil so UCD making a change at the start of this second half with a Harvey O'Brien replacing Abdul Babaka at half time Babaka on a yellow card and was a bit of a risk. 
And another substitution right at the start of the second half as the match ball seems to have ended up, another one has ended up in the school. That's another souvenir for them. It's cut out well by Jeremiah Idaho. Breaking, look at the room he suddenly got down this right hand side. Are they thinking a lot more? Attack might have gone in the second half. Now that's Boar has committed the foul. He's going to be booked for it at the very least. Sorry, Will, to cross you there, but that's quite cynical. That's twice now. This is Herman Oidaho. We've seen him last week. He's taken out of it. Absolutely taken out of it. A bit more of that, Oidaho. We've seen him do it last week against OIT Carlo. And a uh, good start here by OIT Sligo. I think it was Harvey O'Brien gave the ball away, but tried to give a big diagonal ball. Not a good start for him coming on for the start of the uh, second half. Free kick. Will he pull it back, Will? No. Aim towards the far post. Oh, this is a terrific header. What a save by Healy. A brilliant stop for UCD to prevent IC Slagger from going in front. A great opportunity. I think a brilliant header. And it came from Ryan O'Reilly. It was a brilliant save, Will, I have to say. Again, the delivery, we know about it. Well, there could be 3 0 up. They've had three really good quality close in chances. And Lorcan Healy with two excellent saves, the other going narrowly wide. It's a gorgeous ball trying to get Kerrigan away. The close control, chance to beat Norris, he's gone down in the area and it is a penalty kick for UCD, three minutes into the second half. But Norris is not too happy, but I have to say, Ryan Conlon's right on it, yellow card. For me, it's a penalty, Will. It's a brilliant diagonal ball. Jack Heaney. Norris is not too happy, but I just think he got tangled up. And it will be Yo-Yo Maddy to take for UCD. They've been under the cosh a lot in this league final. But Maddy's made it 1-0 decisively. A terrific penalty. He hit it well. Will, but it's, he's put out a good height. He struggled well, he's got good power in it. Keeper's gone the right way, but he's no chance, Jason Quinn, no chance. You've got to see what IT Sligo do now, Will. Do they still sit in, stay in the game, or will they come out and chase the game? If they come out and chase the game for me, they're going to be opened up, and UCD will play through them. 1-0 UCD, and Norris is covering as well, but it may still find Kerrigan anyway. He's got support from Maddy in the middle. He's still putting the pressure on. And that was ultimately well defended. But he's getting more and more into the game and he's uh, a growing threat down the left. It was good cover by Trainer got across the pitch. And uh, he's just done enough to put Kerrigan off. But again, every opportunity they get, they're looking for Kerrigan down this left-hand side. They're not overcomplicating it this half, Will. That'll be a free kick. Foul by Jack Keeney. <laughs> IT Sligo have never won the league title before. They were first division champions and went up two years back. Another yes. good delivery. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. What a delivery by Kavanagh. And that caused all the trouble. and penetrative and it's the substitute Harvey O'Brien who's put into his own net great great delivery again by Kavanagh we spoke about it you were still in the game Will and they're well back in the game now got lost in the midfield dangerous area gives UCD a little bit of momentum again oh Kerrigan over the top great chance right in front of goal Liam Kerrigan whose pace created their opener Almost getting a second for them. He's made McDonald's mind up for him by coming in off the line again. And does Norris send them in? Does he let him go in? Does he go in after him? Back by Corcoran for Evan Farrell. Another UEFA Youth League veteran. Been some really good draws in that if you're the uh, under 19 champions. You get to play through the champions route. 
against clubs as parent sides aren't in the Champions League. Play has been called back by referee Ray Conlon for a free kick. It's just when, when, when Liam Cardigan gets on the ball, UCD come to life well. They need to get the ball out to him a bit more because he, he, every time he gets it, he, something happens with him. He's picked it up, he's gone inside. And again, it was, it was Cavanagh this time was taking him down. Jack Keane is over the free kick. Good one towards the back post it was. Couldn't quite pick out Sean McDonald, but they absolutely picked out Yo-Yo Mani, no doubt about that. His second, UCD's second, and they're back in front. I think it was Corgan who's knocked it down. Watch as it comes out. He don't clear it, IT Sligo. I think that's Corkin, is it? It's just knocked it back in. It's a nice little touch on by McDonald. And yeah, Norris has just left Matty. He's just drifted off him. It's a good finish. Quinn has no chance right up into the top left hand corner. UCD would have been the overwhelming favourites no matter what squad IT Sligo put out today. Great ball. Great control, oh, glorious yeah. opportunity for Byrne and he just couldn't get the finish. What a fantastic Mark ball. Mark Byrne. Brilliant ball by Norris, he's done everything right Will. He's just, oh he's just missed kicked the ball. He's took it on his chest brilliantly. Match for this CUFL Men's League Final. Talat claiming the Division 1 crown. And definitely try and shake up the top flight next season. They'll be happy to be back. That final went all the way to penalties. This one, not yet. Oh, Idaho had chance. it, no advantage played. The foul on Ryan O'Reilly. A little bit outside the area, but central. And there's only one man who's going to take this. Might be just a little bit straight, Will. It's a fair distance out from the striker on goal but we know his ability we have the power to stick a pass Larkin Healy from there he's going to make sure that wall is 10 yards well I'll be making sure it is doesn't look like it to me or is he just going to pop it in it's a big wall Will it's a big free kick it's Brian Kavanagh little chip and the header did come to at the far post, but not enough power, not enough accuracy. Sometimes they're hard to head, Will, you know, because there's not a lot of pace on the ball. You know, he's got there all right. You just need a little bit more pace on it. It's Ronan Gallagher's header. I think Larkin, he, Healy's been booked for time wasting, Will. Goalkeeper off UCD, I think he's got a yellow. Six cautions against UCD in this final. Midway through the four minutes of stoppage time. They're pushing again, Sligo. Here's Collins. Support down the near side from Dan Bayer. But they won't release him. They can't release him. Collins couldn't hold on to it. Colin Whelan did well. Three coming forward for UCD now. Great work by Sean McDonald. Trainer's been going to be booked for full-back. Great play by Sean McDonald, I have to say. Good composure showed on it. Driving forward. Kept good control of the ball. And he's won a nice free kick here for UCD to just uh, run this game out. Knock it around the opposition half just where they want it to be. Whelan turning well, but four bodies around and one of them had to win it back and it was Dan Bayer who done it. The last minute of stoppage time, 30 seconds remaining. Free it kick. has to be now for Sligo, and guess what? They've won a free kick, and it's going to be Kavanagh's. And they're sending everybody up, and they're sending the goalkeeper up. Jason Quinn, the goalkeeper, is on the edge of the area, waiting for this free kick. Launched in by Brian Kavanagh. 
and they messed it up. It was going out for a corner, and they both went for it. I think Trainer and Idaho, and they got in each other's way, and it's a goal kick. They would have had a corner. Yeah, absolutely, Will. It's knocked on for the UCD defender. Trainer's just trying to put it back in, and Idaho has just got in his way. Here we go. His and penalty. suddenly from the goal kick, they're all onside. Kerrigan is there. Maddie waiting in the middle. Jason Quinn had to race back to his goal very quickly. UCD have done it again. Their fifth league title in seven years. They've won it more than anyone else. And that's now a great eight for University College Dublin. They beat an IT Sligo by two goals to one. A very game Sligo side. Very unlucky Sligo in both matches I've seen in both finals, Will. They just... Last week, as we know, the couple of players sent off. They were well in this game today. Great opportunities to go go ahead in the match early on to take the lead. They didn't take the opportunities. And sometimes that comes back to bite you as it did here today. UCD, league champions for the eighth time in 14 years. Yeah, I'm happy with the two goals. Um, happier though to win the tournament because it was a long season after this, the disappointment in the Collingwood and uh, I'm just happy that we get a trophy at the end of the year. I mean absolutely because this was it, this was the last opportunity to get one at the highest level. Yeah exactly, we knew what, we know what today means and we know what this tournament means and we did everything we could to win and boys are putting their bodies on the line at the end and all and uh, yeah I'm just really happy. Finished the season now in fairness, the boys are class, IT put up to us in fairness, they gave us a proper game, so fair play to them. Sligo, absolutely massive test and two finals for them in a week. Yeah, not bad for them to be fair, they're putting in good work, I know Jinxie, he's running it very well down there and it's clearly paying off and next year I'm sure they'll be back again. Um, lots of space for you down the wing, and not just for you, but Michael Gallagher as well on the other side. Uh, the, probably it was tight in the middle, so we had to use the wings a bit more because they clearly compacted the middle, so we had to get out quick and go at them quick. Yeah, I suppose we were disappointed with the Collingwood and we wanted just to put it right there tonight, and I think we did it. Um, because of the loss in the Collingwood Cup to... DCU, good to get some silverware and prove yourselves for the season? Yeah, exactly. I suppose me and Liam and a few of the boys were part of the Harding Cup and that was something we wanted to win. And um, Especially today, we knew Sligo IT lost last week and they were going to be all guns blazing and I think they did that, but well, I think we matched it and we were, uh, were the winners. And in terms of the League of Ireland, obviously the season's just beginning, so it's a long run for everyone. Yeah, yeah, but I suppose we, we love playing the games. That's why we're, we're here. We, we had a diff different enough, difficult result last week, but hopefully we'll push on now on Friday. A lot of resolve needed to basically turn Sligo over today. Very resilient they were. Yeah, we, look, we knew they've quality players. We played against them many of the times, but look, we just knew we had to battle it. And then once the chances came, uh, we had to be clinical and Yo-Yo did that. Nice one, well done. Thanks, Wayne. It is really cold, so we're not going to hang around today. Uh, Johnny, great tribute to UCD, but also actually to Sligo after the massive disappointment last week in being well beaten, where just about it all went wrong in the second half in the CFEI Cup final. Yeah, and look, they come back and they, they, they put in a performance again today. It's been difficult for them two weeks in a row to be beaten in finals. But, you know, the great positivity around, you know, with Jinxie there, you know, going forward for that team, they've got to take the positives out of this. There's some really good players among that group. And uh, I know it's, it's hard for them now at this present time, but, you know, as I said, there's, you've got to be positive about it. That's a good UCD team. Most of the first division players are playing there and uh, they put in a performance. They great opportunities in the first half to take the lead and I've said that early on and they were disappointed probably not to take the lead but UCD are clever, they're experienced and they've just done enough to win the game today for me, Will. Eighth league crown in 14 seasons. The 14 seasons that this league has been in operation. Well, they have the players, you know, and they, 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 you know, they're, they're, they're the flagship for the, the university's league. You know, everyone's got to get up to their level. That's the standard that people have to get up to, and that's good. And there's some really good players playing in, in, the, in, this, uh, in this league, well, all around the, uh, the country. So it's a very, very good standard, I have to say. Well, hard lines on Sligo. Two big deciders in the space of a week, beaten in both. But for UCD, they pass with flying colours again. Goodbye.